Hi, in this video we're going to uh, see if we can get the burger to bounce off the edge of the screen. So first we're going to create a variable here. We, we have the position which is the upper left hand corner. We need the whole position so we need the dimensions. So we're going to create a burger dims. Sprite burger dims, a vector 2 so it'll have an x and a y and then give it an initial uh, value which won't change sometimes sizes change but uh, for this it won't this is about 150 pixels wide and about 150 pixels tall now when you're doing yours you can you can be a little more exact this will be fine for now we're also going to uh, have a speed vector two an x and y speed because this can change now and we're going to set the initial values for the speed so when the game starts it'll have uh, have some motion and the X remember positive uh, is left to right and Y and zeros at the top so negative goes bottom to top so there's those values now in our move sprites uh, we're going to set up uh, some tests to see if we've actually reached the edge of the screen. So, if the Sprite Burger Pause X, which is the left side, is less than zero, we've gone off the left edge of the screen. And so we need to change the speed. So that means the speed would have been minus one. We're going to change it to one. Now we're going to have another test because we've got three more sides of the screen. So if Sprite Burger Pause dot Y is less than or equal to zero, means it went off the top of the screen. It means the speed was negative. So now we need to turn it around to be uh, positive. So Sprite Burger speed in Y, we're going to set equal to one. So now it's going down the screen. Now the other two are a little more difficult because we need to deal with the right and the bottom of the burger, which is the position, so position X, plus the dimensions, the Sprite Burger dims X, to get the right side. That needs to be greater than the right side of the screen, which is a, we're not going to put in a value, it's this window client bounds width. So, and it uh, goes into some detail about that in your book. So, if the right side is greater than the screen width, then the speed, which again we're talking X, left to right, needs to be minus one. So, we go back left again. Now, we need the bottom. So, we've got the position in Y, if Sprite Burger position dot Y plus the Sprite Burger dims dot Y, the height the burger is greater than the height value of the screen which is our window dot client bounds height so it's down below the bottom so if that's true then we have to change the speed in Y to be going back up back towards zero which is the minus one Okay, there's those tests. And now that we've got those uh, speeds changed, our position is no longer going to be this plus equals one and minus equals one. It's going to be based on plus equals sprite burger underscore speed, in this case dot x. And in the other one, sprite burger underscore speed dot y. Now, one more important deal. And that has to do with right here, the Sprite Burger Speed Y minus equals. We change that to plus because the speed could be a negative number. So we'll save. And now the all important test. And there it goes. Let's see what we get. And boink, and boink. We'll add the real sound effects later. And the bottom, yes. And the left side, our fourth side to test. And there we go.
So bouncing off all four sides, we can end. And that's it.